hundred places, seven hundred faces, and all of your ways and all your thoughts. Do you know why I picked you to be my dad's intern? Because you are a robot. You're a freaking robot in a white coat who never makes a mistake, and most of the time I appreciate that. Most of the time, I really feel like I have something to learn from you, but right now, right now, I need you to try just for a minute. I need you to try to be a human being. Where we gonna go from here? Back of your eyes look like my mother's. When we talk, you're like my brother. Where we gonna go from here? So we'll do the thing with the heart tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe in a couple of days. I don't. I don't know quite yet. But, uh, Dr. Weber and Dr. Burke said we should get to it quick. And we will get to it as quick as we can. I just want to make sure that we do it right. I just don't understand why they're operating on his heart when the cancer is in his gut. Yeah, it's complicated. Um, now, you know what I was when... thinking? Maybe the tests are wrong. Okay, maybe it's not cancer. Because cause, cause cancer runs in the family, right? And no one else in the family has cancer. It is cancer. Okay, it's stage three metastatic esophageal cancer. Meta-what? Metastatic. It's uh, when the cancer cells have migrated from their point of origin. Okay, you're talking doctor now, George. Just talk English. I am talking English. You're just not listening. No, you're just not saying anything that we understand. I am talking... Guys. Imagine your dad's like a, like a vintage car, okay? Callie. And uh, his, his blood's like gas flowing through the fuel lines. The cancer cells are like the gunk that builds up in there. Falls, falls up the plugs. Exactly. Once the gunk starts circulating, it can do a lot of damage to the whole engine, the, the carburetor, everything. It's, it's like the engine had already blown a gasket. Even before all the other damage started. How am I looking? Good. You ready for surgery? That's good, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to tell my wife about all this. Forty years we've been married. And now, cancer and a heart condition? She's always telling me how I should eat better, take better care of myself. I should have listened. George is the best. What? He's the best intern. He's a good doctor, and he's a good person. And whatever happens, I just thought you should know that, that you raised a good person. George knows. Empty pockets don't ever make the grave.